Hi, today I want to talk about five things you can do during a normal day in Salento. So, number one, visit the beautiful Calle Real. Number two, walk up to the Mirador. Number three, tour a coffee plantation. Number four, hike the Valle del Cocora. Number five, enjoy watching hummingbirds. Before I start, I think you should know some main facts about this town. First of all, Salento is a small town in the department of Quindío, one of the main coffee regions in Colombia. Second, the local language is Spanish. But even if you don't find many locals who speak English, there's usually many tourists going to visit. So it's easy for you to get around. Third, the local currency is pesos colombianos. And as it is a small town, mostly everything is paid in cash. Be sure you exchange your money at the one of the big cities before you arrive to Salento. Fourth, you can get around this town by wheelies. You've heard it right, wheelies. They're one of the local means of transportation in the coffee region, and you always find them parked at Salento's main square. The climate in Salento is enjoyable and warm. It'll never get actually cold. But if you want to hike and go around uh, Cocora Valley, for example, you may want to bring a light rain jacket with you, in case it rains. So this is Salento. Salento is a small town full of colorful houses and quiet picturesque streets. Everywhere you walk, you will be able to appreciate this interesting house decoration, no matter if it's a store, supermarket, coffee shop, or just a normal house. The place where you can appreciate this colorful style the most is Calle Real, which is the main street in Salento. <music> Calle Real starts from the main square where you can find the wheelies. It is a long street and once you get to the end of it, you will find a way up to the Mirador. This area has a great variety of restaurants where you can try delicious local food like good steaks and delicious trout. There's also cafes, souvenir shops and even bars where you can have a few drinks and relax or enjoy some nice music and party all the night long. Once you arrive to the end of Calle Real, you will find a narrow stairway for you to climb that takes you all the way up to the Mirador. El Mirador is a look at point where you can have a nice view from Salento. Once you make it, you can enjoy some refreshing drinks, some quick food and just relax for a while. The way to go up and go back won't take you more than an hour, and it's a great way to keep yourself fit. So, why not?
Salento is located in one of the main coffee regions of Colombia, so you should not miss the opportunity of exploring it. Enjoy some of the best coffee in the world and learn about all the processes and steps that are needed to make a nice cup of coffee. There are plenty of coffee farms close to Salento, and a few of them offer a variety of tours in which you have the possibility to do some coffee tasting and learning everything about coffee. In some of them, you can even pick your own coffee beans. Besides the coffee, you'll surely enjoy the nature of the farms. Many of them have different sorts of palms and fruit trees like bananas. Plus, the scenery is gorgeous. It's a beautiful green scenery everywhere you look at. After visiting the coffee plantations, you can relax and have a walk in this cozy little town. The Kokora Valley is a stunning wax palm valley. Here you can appreciate the highest wax palms in the world, which is something you don't want to miss. It's really impressive walking around this place in the middle of these giants. The easiest way to get there is taking one of the wheels from Salento, which takes you directly to the starting point of the hike. From there, you can take a short hiking path to go and see the Palm Valley in just a couple hours or less. If you like hiking and enjoying stunning views in nature, you also have the option of taking a longer way. This hike will take you around 5 hours. It can take less time, maybe more, depending on your pace and how many breaks you make. But you definitely need a lot of time to get the most out of it. The mix of nature, mountains, and these palms makes a gorgeous panorama to enjoy. It's beautiful. If you're not sure which one is the long way, you might want to look for a blue gate on the right side. It can get very foggy in the mountains. Buy a plastic poncho at the souvenir shops before you start your hike. Hummingbirds! I love these tiny little birds. If you like them too, you can appreciate them if you take a half an hour detour once you're in the mountains. On your way to Kokora Valley, there is a deviation sign that will take you right to the hummingbird's house. This is a place where you can make a short break and have some food while you do some bird watching or hummingbird watching. It's beautiful there.
the hummingbirds are flying all around the place. And it's beautiful and relaxing seeing how they pick some flowers and interact with each other. If you're lucky enough, you will get to see many or at least enough of them. It can also happen that you see just a couple of them or maybe just one since they're completely free and they come and go all the time. But that's also the beauty of it. They're free and happy in the environment. <laughs> 